Okay, this is also a recent case that my uh, colleague showed me. Uh, it's a 32 year old woman with abdominal pain. And she, she, um, she was worried that this person may have had some ovarian neoplasm, but I've seen this before, so I told her that it's likely this syndrome. Any thoughts? Anybody? <laughs> so I, I don't know if it. Is she trying to get pregnant? Yeah, yeah, she's trying to get pregnant. Yeah. So this is. Um, so it turns out I, I told her to look in their chart to see if she's getting simulated, and uh, indeed she was. Variety of hyperstim syndrome. Just the ovarian hyperstim syndrome, and. Uh, I don't know, even, even after I told her this, she said, well, I still don't like the look of some of these, <laughs> these, uh, these cysts. Um, so this patient went to pelvic ultrasound, which showed a bunch of simple and hemorrhagic follicle slash cysts. But this is a pretty uh, classic appearance of this, which I've probably gathered about five cases so far. And some of these women may experience pain. Although this woman's pain was in the upper abdomen reportedly, so I'm not sure if it was related. I don't think we have anybody doing fertility here, so yeah. we don't see these. Yeah, I think this is a uh, this is um, very common in, in LA. So do, do they look kind of they? To me, I have the impression they were almost like disconnected from each other, but that's because they're like hanging, they're really big and hanging off the ovary, which is- I, I think much. that is actually what bothered my colleague the most. Uh, the, each, each like big follicle or, or cyst is like exophytic from the yeah. ovary, which is in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, they, they're, they're hanging off somehow, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's what, what bothered um, my colleague the most. But yeah, the ultrasound shows them also appearing very purpleized or pedunculated, but that's just kind of how these disappear. And um, in the other cases that I have, they've actually looked pretty similar. Okay, 